every day, thousands of students flock through the gates of the Durban University of Technology to again quench their thirst of a better future and gain economic freedom. But for some, trudging the corridors of DUT means a chance to explore extracurricular activities and write a new chapter of their lives. As early as 8 a.m. in the morning, the campuses are already a beehive. Everyone is hungry for their opportunity to devour the fruits of their hard work. The things that motivate me to work hard is, firstly, I really want to be independent. So I don't want to depend on anyone in this world to be okay. Um, I want to buy my mom a house. That's a goal that I really set for myself. And I want to be a good example to my younger siblings. Indeed, working hard is not a mere word for Rebecca. This routine was destined to be altered. I was walking to the library and I saw a poster that really attracted my attention. Um, it spoke about winning a brand new laptop and I was very interested by that. So I approached the poster and I saw that it was a writing competition and writing is something I really like so I decided, hey, why not give it a try? A record of 96 students participated in the writing competition in 2017. Rebecca was among the 45 who made it into the final round. Uh, how I got into writing? Well, when I was younger, I used to have a lot of dreams and I would always tell my mom about these dreams. So when he suggested that she'd like buy a book for me, where I would write down all my dreams and like I started writing all my dreams down and then I saw that it's actually something I like doing. I take writing as a therapeutic thing for me. Like let's say I have um, jumbled emotions inside of me. I just put it all down on a piece of paper and sort of express myself in that way. Um, I mostly write about my past experiences. Rebecca now has to juggle between her studies, social life and trying to outwit 44 other hopefuls in the competitions. This competition has affected me um, socially. Well, I, I saw that I actually had a few clashes with like my timetable and having to prepare for this competition. Um, with academics, uh, there were times where I had to do assignments and I just didn't have enough time for that um, because I had to focus a lot on these, uh, these pieces that I had to write because the due date was just so close. There were times where I would want to meet up with my friends or my friends would want to meet up with me, but then I would just think of having to finish these things that I had to do for the competition. My journey in this writing competition has been quite interesting. At first when I got, um, when I came to the workshop, I was very intimidated by the talent that was around me. There were many poets and you know, like, it was just so intimidating but then I encouraged myself and I told myself that hey anything is possible so I really did my best um, where I could and I was also a bit curious as to who I was competing with. Winning this competition would mean so much to me 
because firstly I really want that laptop that's why I joined the competition and it would also boost my confidence in this writing field like I would really want to try out more opportunities that come like this. The curtains are about to come down in the 2017 edition of the writing competition. Jumbled emotions are surely rife in Rebecca's head and her sister has a message for her. The fact that she has entered this competition is really something great because she has stepped out of her shell, out of her comfort zone and I'm really impressed by that. The fact that she has made it to the final round is something that a lot of people have not done. So already I am proud of her achievements and whether she wins this competition or not, I want her to know that I, as her older sister, am very proud of what she's done. And I know that she's up against a lot of competition, but I'm also, I also know that she has a very good head on her shoulders and she has a possibility of winning this competition. I have faith in her. Handing in final essay was a huge relief for Rebecca and today is a day of reckoning where every participant will definitely walk out as a winner.